Oh, sometimes I wish that the witch is not so strong. So I could control her. But she would be immortal. That's one thing, that's one thing. And the other thing is that she has little damage, so she couldn't um, break the uh, the Capresis prisons. And she would be standing in one place so I can you know, have a, an easier time with them. But no, she has a lot of damage. She killed the Capresis prisons. Maybe because it's made of wood. I wish it made of stone or oh, it's made of steel. Harder for her to kill. I can uh, teleport out of this prison alright, but she couldn't. She couldn't teleport. She only uh, flies away, but she couldn't fly once she gets into, into his prison. <laughs> I think the psychic scream lasts for about 5 seconds. Last 5 seconds, I think. That's why uh, my minions are way too scared. Why did he run away? Why did he run away? He didn't have anything to be afraid of. Oh shit. Yeah, he's very healthy. That's the sad thing about him. Very healthy, full health, full HP. He haven't dropped his fire resist once. Oh my god, I'm dead. Nearly. He's very healthy. Oh shit. My god. He haven't dropped his fire resist once. This fight is so hard. Holy shit, that's a lot of traps. Oh my god, look at this full health. Like I'm hitting a uh, an immortal. Why am I stuck in this place? Immortal boss or something. Oh, too close. He doesn't drop his fire resist in 5 minutes. In fact, he doesn't drop anything. 
Now we drop it. But not fire resist. What? Fuck. Are you serious? What? What's this? What's this? What? What's this? What? Wow, he has a uh, higher range of uh, casting his strap. He could cast his strap from a screen away. Four minutes until my auction's end. Oh, I never go. <laughs> What's that? What? What? What did you put in your auctions? Really? Let's see. I think he's still full health. What the fuck? Oh my god. I spent fucking 15 minutes with this guy and he doesn't drop his fire resist. Fuck. Really?
Lucian Soulstone Trophy. Oh, that's pretty hard to get. Ah, my God, I'm having a big problem with uh, this guy. Because mainly he doesn't drop his resist, and that makes the job harder for me. And now we got what? Now we just we just have something like a Boyakin, I hope. Oh my God! I hope he. Uh, he change his resistance once in a while so I can damage him a little bit but I think it's very hard now he, uh, he doesn't drop his resist at least drop something oh yeah yeah he did he did not really was on the first try oh I think you got lucky I think you got lucky I spent like something, uh, I don't know, 15, 30, about 40 hours of gameplay. I mean, I spent about 40 hours until I got my, uh, my Lucian Soulstone, my, my trophy, I mean. about that amount of time uh, so if you got it on your first try then you would be very very lucky with that two percent <coughs> but I wasn't that lucky I spent about a day and a half uh, searching for that trophy but happily I got it in the end so it doesn't matter much uh, just time spent on that uh, and um, Am I lacking or I think I'm lacking really, really hard. What? But uh, the lesson that I learned from uh, doing Lucian is that the the more you play on one quest, the more you'd learn about the boss, and the more you'd learn about the game mechanic. I mean, after like 40 games of Lucian, I would know more about him. I'm not saying that I know all about the quest and about his um, reaction, his um, skills and um, his actions, what he will respond when I do certain stuff. But I, I mostly know what am I to expect when fighting him, mostly. Not all, but mostly. So when I do a trophy, <coughs> uh, I set my goal, for example, I would run about, um, fucking, oh my god, lag, that was, I couldn't, I couldn't control my character probably, because simply I couldn't, I, I press run, and she stand like one place. <sighs> Probably because there are so many monsters in that upper already. So I should be pretty aware of that. What? I fucking summons my witch. Gosh, what? What's this? Can I bling here? No, I cannot. 
What this place? What are this place? What is this place? Why can't I jump? Why can't I jump over here? I've I I buffed the path of flame a while ago. Oh, am I lagging? Where am I? Oh God! Sometimes I need to blink to see that if I'm lagging or not. But the first thing I want to do is to go in and clear the shit. So I don't need to worry about the uh, overwhelming numbers of monsters in the level. That's also uh, contribute to the lag. So I want to clear them out. Wouldn't be helping much, but you know, I do what I can. Wow, she flies faster than me. So for example, if I gonna do a uh, Capracis Trophy, I'm gonna run 40 of him. And then if I fail after 40 runs, then I'll do another 40. But you see here, I uh, am successful after 10 runs. So it's not that bad, you know, getting his trophy and all. This is only my 10 run, and I got his trophy. It's not really hard because I I I I, uh, I plan to do 40 of him, so it, it could be drop after 10 or 20 or 40 I don't know. But when you got a goal, then you complete it. Then I feel complete because that my goal, my my ultimate goal is to get the trophy. But you know, when you run it like 20 times. And you don't, you don't have the trophy. Then you get lost, and then you, uh, you got, you got a discourage. Um, so you need to get to to keep your goal. For example, if you want to run Capresses, make a goal: run twenty Capresses, or run thirty Capresses. If uh, if after thirty Capresses fail, then you would say to yourself that okay I complete my goal I fucking kill him 30 times and I haven't got a trophy and that's not fair I'll, I'll do another 30 I don't, I, don't, I don't really care about the numbers then I'll do another 30 and if that another 30 fails then I'll do another 30 that's what I'm gonna do but that 2% is not really hard you know I kill him 10 times and I got this so I think it's not really hard. Maybe I got lucky. Nice one. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Nice one. <laughs>